Details now emerging in the case of two Mexican nationals accused of trying to smuggle nearly $900,000 of U.S. currency into Mexico. One of them, an international student at the University of the Incarnate Word. Yeah, Garrett Berenger joins us in the newsroom where we have now heard that there is a connection to Mexican political figures. Garrett? Well, Bill Myra, federal authorities stopped 22-year-old Juan Pablo Hoyos Avila and 19-year-old Rafael Gabriel Martinez Leal at the San Antonio International Airport earlier this week, where they say the pair was trying to fly to Mexico with about $879,000 in undeclared U.S. cash. The Monitor newspaper out of McAllen, Texas, reported that Martinez is cousins with the wife of the governor of Tamaulipas. According to the newspaper, the governor's spokesman confirmed the link. Several Mexican media outlets have also reported Martinez's cousins with a man who is part of the incoming Mexican president's team. Now, meanwhile, Hoyos has been a UIW student since 2015, and the university says he's registered for the fall semester. His major listed as business administration. According to court documents, Customs and Border Patrol was at Border Protection was tipped off about an attempt to smuggle out a large amount of U.S. currency. After having, sent, having the plane sent to an inspection facility, CBP officers found cash wrapped in duct tape bundles and hidden in a fan box. Federal investigators say Martinez and Hoyos both copped to their roles in smuggling the currency, though the pilot and two others on the plane denied any knowledge. According to the criminal complaint, Martinez said for the past nine months he had been coordinating the movement of cash all over the U.S. to San Antonio, where he'd smuggle out about a million bucks a week to Mexico by private aircraft. Hoyles told investigators he'd been helping Martinez since about January by getting cash from different people and stowing it in his garage until Martinez could pick it up. Hoyos wrote that he knew it was wrong and that it was, quote, something like undeclared cash or drug money. Now, both Hoyos and Martinez remain in federal custody tonight, though Hoyos does have a preliminary and detention hearing tomorrow morning in federal court here in San Antonio. We're hoping to learn some more details from that. Live in the newsroom, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.